Welcome back to my channel. Um, as you can see, I've got a bulldozed lot with the exception of these two doors. And that's actually what my doors are going to look like once I have completed this tutorial. So first, you're going to go to Walls and Empty Rooms and go to your room tool. You're going to build two rooms, uh, one a little bit bigger than the other. And after you've built those two rooms, you're going to go to your wall tool and you're going to build one diagonal wall on each side of both of these rooms that you just built. So I'm actually going to do the build these walls over here uh, and scoot that bigger room over since they're a little bit too close together. Now that I've done that, I'm going to scoot that room over. Um, next, I'm going to go to doors. And now I'm going to find my door frames. Um, so the door frames, most of the door frames come in a variety of colors. But of course, I'm going to use my favorite color, which is black. So I'm going to place one on the smaller room. And I'm going to place a bigger one on the bigger room. Once you've done that, um, I'm going to go and I'm going to find just single doors and to keep the same color scheme I'm gonna use this black uh, modern wooden door with frosted glass insets so I'm gonna place one of those on each of those diagonal walls that I built a minute ago once I've done that um, you will need to have cheats enabled for this but you only need your move objects cheat so I'm gonna use my sledgehammer and I'm just going to delete the walls of both of the rooms as well as the diagonal walls I built on each side of the room. And you can delete more than one at a time, but you run the risk of deleting the doors too. I've done that more times than I care to admit. So while this is on Xbox, I'm going to press and hold my Alt key and I'm just going to drag that door on to the side of the frame that we placed a minute ago. And then I'm going to do the same thing on the other side. Uh, that's a little off. There we go. Um, and regardless of what size or what width your door is, um, I'm going to do that the same way. I'm just going to press and hold Alt and I'm going to click and drag. Um, so now you've got an open door tutorial. Um, so that's what they will look like when they're done. Um, if you don't want your Sims to be able to use the doors, like in this tutorial, the doors the, that have the frosted glass insets, if you don't want your Sims to walk through those, when you go to your regular mode, you're going to go and lock the door for everyone, um, so that they can't use the doors. Okay. I built those before, but the ones I just built, I'm going to go and I'm going to lock the door for everyone on all four of those doors and now while they can't walk through the doors with the glass insets um, they can still walk back and forth through the door frame um, and I'm going to teleport her here and just show you guys that they can walk um, back and forth through the doors with no problem um, so she's going to go through that door and she's going to come back and then she's going to teleport her over here. I don't know why she's doing that. Okay. And then she's going to go through that door. And then she's going to come back through the door. So you have fully functional open doors. 